Have you ever wondered why time seems to fly when you're having fun, but drags on forever when you're bored? Today, let's dive into one of the most fascinating questions about our reality. Is time really real, or is it just something we made up? Think about this. When you're deeply asleep, time doesn't exist for you. When you wake up, you might not even know if you've been asleep for 20 minutes or two hours. It's like time completely disappears from your consciousness. But here's where it gets really interesting. Scientists have discovered that different cultures actually perceive time differently. Western societies tend to see time as linear, like an arrow moving from past to future. But some indigenous cultures view time as circular, with patterns that repeat like the seasons. Neither view is wrong. They're just different ways our minds make sense of existence. And let's talk about Einstein's theory of relativity. He proved that time isn't fixed at all. It actually changes depending on how fast you're moving or how close you are to a massive object. Mind-blowing, right? The clock on a satellite in orbit actually ticks slightly faster than the one on your wall at home. But here's the real kicker. What we call time might just be our brain's way of processing change. Think about it. If nothing in the universe changed, if atoms stopped moving, if light stopped traveling, if everything just froze, would time even exist? Would it have any meaning? The truth is we created the concept of seconds, minutes, and hours to help us organize our lives and coordinate with each other. But these are human inventions just like the weekend or the month of January. Nature doesn't care about our Monday meetings or Friday night plans. So next time you're stressing about being late or wishing you had more time, remember, you're worried about a concept that might not even be real. Maybe time isn't something that passes, but rather something we pass through, like walking through rooms in an endless house of experiences. In the end, perhaps the only thing that's real is the present moment, this exact instant of consciousness you're experiencing right now. Everything else, well, that might just be our minds trying to make sense of the beautiful chaos we call existence.